want to remind you of the properties here. We have commutative properties for addition and multiplication that allow us to change the order of numbers in a sum or a product. The associative property for addition and multiplication that allow us to change the grouping in sums and products. And then the distributive property that works with multiplication and addition. And we say that multiplication distributes over addition. Let's go to the board now and look at our first problem. We want to combine 2x plus 8x. Remember, these are similar terms because the variable parts are the same. I'm going to use the distributive property in this direction where I take an x outside and group the 2 and the 8 back together. Notice I can multiply x times 8 and get 8x, x times 2 and get 2x, so I haven't changed the value of this expression. But now I can add 2 and 8 to get 10x. So a very important thing to be able to do is combine similar terms. 2x plus 8x turns out to be 10x. Let's look at our next problem. 4a subtract a. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to write the a outside. The only question is what number goes here. Whatever it is, when I multiply it times a, I have to get a back. So that means it must be a 1. And remember that you can think of this a as being 1 times a, and then you can see the two numbers right here that end up in parentheses. Now, 4 subtract 1 will be 3, so I end up with 3a for the simplified version of this expression right here. Now, we want to go farther and look at some more complicated expressions and see how they simplify. Problem 3, I have 4x plus 2x plus 3 plus 8. So what I'm going to do is group these two together using the distributive property. 4 plus 2 times x plus 3 plus 8 is 11. Now I can add the 4 and the 2 together. That will give me 6x plus 11. So I combine the similar terms 4x and 2x, and then I combine these two numbers right here to get 11. So 4x plus 2x is 6x, 3 plus 8 is 11, and that's why this expression simplifies down to this expression. Let's try another one of those. Here I want to add the 3x and the negative 4x and the 2 and the 1. I'll take an extra step here and rearrange the order in this sum, which I can do using the commutative property for addition. Now, 3x subtract 4x by the distributive property, 3 minus 4 times x plus 2 plus 1 will be 3. So notice if I move this 4x term somewhere, I take the negative sign that's in front of it with it. So 3 subtract 4 is negative 1 times x plus 3 and that will simplify down to just negative x plus 3. So that's the simplified version of that expression. Let's try some more of these simplifications. Our next one involves the distributive property. I'm going to have to multiply 5 times 2x and 5 times 3, and then to that I want to add uh, 4. So first I'll multiply 5 times 2x. That will be 10x. Subtract, that's that subtraction sign, 5 times 3, which is 15 plus 4. That will be 10x plus negative 15 plus 4 will be negative 11. So I end up with 10x minus 11. And remember, even though this is subtraction right here, subtract 15, I think in terms of addition to get the negative 11. So I say negative 15 plus 4 is negative 11. Here's another problem. I want to multiply 3 times 2a plus 4 and then 7 times 3a minus 1. So I'll distribute the 3 over this sum right here and get 6a plus, that's that plus sign, 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 7 times 3a, which is 21a, minus, that's that subtraction sign, 7 times 1, which is 7. Now, I'm going to add similar terms. 6a plus 21a will be 27a, and then 12 plus negative 7 will be 5. So I end up with 27a plus 5, when I simplify this expression. I apply the distributive property first, then I simply add similar terms. 6a plus 21a is 27a, and 12 plus negative 7 is positive 5. Next, we want to find the value of an expression. Let's find the value of negative 4x plus 1 when x is equal to 5. So all I want to do is rewrite this expression here with 5 in place of x. So it's negative 4 times 5 plus 1. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20, plus 1. So I end up with negative 19. So the expression negative 4x plus 1 is negative 19 when x is equal to 5. Here's another one of those problems. 
find the value of negative a plus 10 when a is negative 2. So I want to rewrite this expression with negative 2 in place of a. So here's my negative sign that's in the expression. Now a itself is negative 2. So there's the negative 2 that a is plus 10. The opposite of negative 2 is 2 plus 10. So I end up with just 12. So this expression turns out to be 12 when a is equal to negative 2. Now this is all the introductory work we need in order to get started solving equations, which we'll do in the next video lesson.